Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Erica with Tiny Acorn. We're kind of going into fall and so I wanted to do a whole vintage styling video for fall and pair it with some of my favorite boots. So if you guys need some fall outfit inspiration, then keep watching. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, I'm gonna be styling up some outfits for you guys over the course of a week and show you guys what I'm wearing right now. I have been gravitating towards a lot of my vintage items that I've got picked up recently. I did an IGTV fall thrift haul um, that you guys have got to check out if you haven't seen it already. I'm wearing some of the pieces that I got from that thrift haul and some other thrift hauls that I'm gonna be posting in the coming days. When fall comes around, I just want to go shopping, kind of refresh my wardrobe, and get some really great pieces to kind of get me excited and inspired for fall dressing. So that's what I did. And speaking of great pieces, I am such a believer in investing in pieces that are gonna like stand the test of time. They're quality pieces. You can pair them with a lot. They're very versatile. And for me, one of those items is a great boot. That is what I wanna share with you guys today. I partnered with Blundstone Boots for this video. So my husband, he has a pair of Blundstones that he's been wearing for forever, and he's always talking about how comfortable they are and how amazing they are and how lightweight they are, and they literally go with like every outfit. And so I thought, you know what? I need to get on this bandwagon and try them for myself. So that's what I've been doing over the last month, and you guys, they are so comfortable. Okay, so I got the 1306 woman's dress Chelsea boot, and it comes with the iconic pull tabs here, which are really cool. I just love a good Chelsea boot. And what I really like about these is that you guys, they're so durable. You can wear these in every single kind of weather. The leather is so nice. It actually breaks in after like only two weeks, molds to your foot, and it's weather resistant too. So you can wear these puppies like rain, snow, sleet, whatever, um, <laughs> and they're gonna last you. So one of the things I was surprised about with this boot was it looks like it would be pretty heavy, but it's actually really light. Um, and so I really like that because I don't like, okay, I'm not trying to throw shade, but there's some other boot companies out there, specifically one that starts with Doctor, um, <laughs> that I feel like their boots are just so heavy when I wear them, and um, these are not like that at all. The sole's pretty light. <laughs> you can see how dirty these are. But these have a really great sole um, and good traction on the bottom. So I got these in my regular size. I found that they do fit true to size. When I got them though, this part was pretty snug, but it does stretch out over time. And that's why you have the pull tabs here to help it, like pull it up onto your foot. It was really comfortable here in the toe box. One thing I love about this style is I love the shape of the toe, that it's a little bit more square shape than um, some of their other styles. So, and I also really liked how this particular style had a more like low profile sole on it. So it wasn't as heavy duty as some of the other styles. But anyways, I'm gonna link these boots for you in the description box as well as Blundstone's website if you guys are interested in checking them out. And for this video, I'm going to be styling these boots throughout the week with several of my new vintage pieces that I've gotten and some older ones that I've gotten. All right, so now I'm gonna share with you the outfits that I styled up this week. All right, so here is my first look with these boots. And I have on these Levi's ribcage jeans. These are some of my favorite pants. Um, I actually got these from Crossroads. I'm not fitting into my jeans that I had pre-baby and I'm still a couple sizes bigger. So I just went out and purchased a pair of secondhand pants that I knew were gonna fit me now because that's what I need. And I don't wanna like sit around and be sad or upset that my jeans don't fit me. I'm just gonna go out and get some that do. Yeah, I paired it with this little blouse that's like everything that I love right now. This big collar is 
so cute. And I also love these puff sleeves. And the color is great. I just love colorful things and it's like this beautiful like fall color scheme. Of course, I put my blundstones on and I'm loving how they're looking with this whole outfit. I think it's very fall. Okay, so I added this little chore coat from Cezanne and um, I love how it goes with the blundstones. So yeah, this is the completed look. All right guys, so today's look is all vintage except for the boots. Um, I have this 70s dress on. It's one of my favorite little vintage dresses. I belted it here at the waist with this a vintage belt that my aunt got me and it has these beautiful stones all over it. I love it. I love how like you can throw a dress on and your outfit is basically done, but I do have a really fun vintage coat I wanna add on top of this. <sighs> okay guys, so this is my amazing 70s fur collar leather vintage coat. Uh, I got this actually in my thrift guide to San Francisco when I went with Abby from Clothes and Pizza. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, check it out. I will link it in the cards. I love that, you know, the, the boots are showing. Um, you can see a little bit of ankle. I love how the color of the boots kind of matches with the coat. And then all of this brown striping in the dress. And I just think this outfit's great and I feel super confident in it. Hey y'all. So I have another outfit. Um, everything here is thrifted except for my boots. I think they look so cute with these black pants with a little elastic at the waist. I actually got these on my most epic thrift trip of all time where I thrifted in Cape Junction, Oregon on my Thrift Across America trip. So check that out if you haven't seen that. I literally hit the vintage jackpot and the sale was incredible. It was like eight items for $5. And I got these pants there. At the time I was pregnant and they didn't fit me, but now I've been wearing them like all the time. I just love a white pant um, and they're really forgiving for my body right now. So I paired it here with this really gorgeous little top. This is actually from one of my very first thrift videos. When I started my channel, I found this piece and it was a set and it can't, comes with a skirt that actually matches it. And it's one of my favorite tops. I just haven't worn it a whole lot lately, so I really wanted to bust it out for this outfit. I thought it would be so cute with everything together. And then this gorgeous hat I just thrifted today, and I think it's perfect for fall. I love a good felted wide brim hat for the fall. Yeah, so that's my look for today with these boots. All right, you guys, so I have another jean boot combo here, but I kind of altered these. I cropped them and took them in on the sides a little bit. Um, but I paired it with this adorable brown vintage Esprit sweater. I love this sweater so much. It's just kind of giving me all of the like fall and winter feels. And I just really like how the brown matches my blendstones. I paired it with this like really bright red beanie uh, that I thrifted. And I like this outfit as is, but if you live in like kind of a colder climate where in the fall it does get a, quite a bit chilly, um, then I have a coat I'm gonna throw on top of this to kind of complete the whole look. This was from Cezanne. So I chose this coat because I really loved how it's like a teddy coat. It has that texture to it that's really nice with teddy jackets and that kind of adds an element of interest to the outfit. Also, the brown buttons are really cute and I feel like the brown and the white and the sweater kind of like tie the whole jacket and everything together. Like it just kind of works. I just like the proportions of this with the high-waisted jeans and the sweater stopping right here and then how the coat continues on. If it doesn't get that cold where you live. You can always shed the jacket and just wear the sweater um, or take the beanie off or whatever. So one of my favorite things is the boots, of course. It's just really making the outfit 
fall appropriate and I think it's pretty good. All right guys, so I have another all vintage look. So I have this cream dress that I actually thrifted on my Thrift Across America trip. I will have that video coming out shortly. This is a really, really cute floral and I love the collar here. It's like everything I get so excited about. Very into collars lately. I, so I put it on underneath the dress and I think it looks really cute. Especially paired with the boots, it has kind of like this I don't know, a little Anne of Green Gables vibe to it, which I'm kind of all about lately. Um, and then I paired it with my husband's hat. And yeah, so this is my final look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Okay guys, so I'm back. I wanted to style these boots with like just a fun graphic t-shirt. And so I grabbed this thrifted Twin Peaks shirt. So I got this probably Oh my gosh, this is a throwback to my very first ever YouTube video that I ever did, you guys. This was in my thrift haul, but you guys, that video is horrendous, so please don't go watch it. <laughs> I guess you should go watch it, no, so that you can see kind of how far I've come since then. Um, but yeah, this shirt is just one of my favorites. I love it and I decided to just pair it with my Levi's. This is my second layer. So this is one out of probably five <laughs> of these like olive green, I don't know, military style, like utility type of shirt coat things. I just can't stop buying these. I'm addicted to them. Um, this is probably the first one that I got. It's actually an old top shop. Um, and what I like about it is it's just so lightweight and you know in the fall if you just need like a light layer to throw on you don't want to go heavy coat you could put something like this on you could do like a button-up jacket which is a shirt jacket and kind of do that and I know a lot of people are doing the the jacket trend um, it's kind of all over um, you could go to a thrift store and just get like a man's oversized flannel shirt um, or military, you know, olive green shirt or anything like that. Um, and then just roll the sleeves up and then wear it unbuttoned and that would be really cute. So yeah, so I threw this on. I think it's so cute with the whole look combined. Um, and then with the hat, it just kind of gives it a little bit of extra pizzazz. Oh, I love pairing hats with stuff. All right, you guys, another outfit for you because I just couldn't stop styling these boots. So I have this vintage blue skirt on. It's one of my favorite little skirts that I own. It's got prairie vibes. I'm very into it. Um, and then I just thrifted this vintage blouse. It's so cute. I love the stripings on it. And you'll probably be seeing a thrift haul um, later on where I talk about when I got this and I'll style it up for you guys um, And then I can't stop wearing this hat. I just got it and I love it so much I think it goes so great with every outfit um, For the fall and then of course I have my blendstone boots on and just how cute is this look you guys? I'm so into it. I Love all these colors together, too that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some fall outfit inspo, especially when it comes to styling, you know, your own, you know, thrift and vintage pieces um, with boots that you might have at home. Or if you're interested in picking up some blundstones for yourself, I'm going to link everything in the description for you. Head on over to their website, check them out. Also, don't forget to follow me over on my Instagram tiny underscore acorn. I'd love to see you over there. Also, I have a blog, you guys. If you're interested in checking out my blog, please click the link down in the description. On my last blog post, I wrote all about chore coats, which you guys know that I love a good chore coat. I told you some good places to buy chore coats, also how to style them, and the history of the chore coat. It's really fun, so make sure to check it out. And I will see you guys next time on my next video. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. Bye!